All right, boys and girls, this is the moment we have all been waiting for. We're going to learn how to hold the violin, okay? So first things first, I need you to take your left hand. Okay, remember, that's the one that you can make an L with. So because I'm working in the camera, mine's going to look opposite from you, okay? So take your left hand, okay? So if you need to, right, put your hand out in front, find your left, okay? And that's the one you want, all right? You can wave that around. Good. You are now going to take the violin, right? And you're going to make sure that the strings are facing away from you. So you see the back of the violin. You're going to take that left hand and you're going to put that part that we talked about, the scroll, right? And the neck in that crook of your left hand, like where that L would sit, okay? And you can hold that out in front of you like that, all right? That's step one. Make sure it's not your right hand. Maybe even put your right hand behind your back so it's not tempted to hold the violin, okay? All right, now, if you're looking at the violin facing you, that's not the right way. Flip it away like that, okay? Out in front. Great, that's step one. Step two, you're gonna lift your chin up, okay? And step three, you're gonna bring that violin all the way up to your left, left, left shoulder. Make sure it's all the way up there so that you almost feel it up against your neck like this, that it's sitting on your chest a little bit and your shoulder here. And now you're gonna bring your chin down onto the chin rest. Now, if you notice, I didn't put my chin down just straight on. I kind of tilted it onto my left cheek, almost like a pillow, okay? And now, now that I'm holding, I should be holding the violin on my chin rest and between my shoulder rest and my chin, right? I feel this nice and secure. I should be able to drop my hands off the violin and hold the violin here. Now, again, boys and girls, if you don't feel ready to do that, that's okay. But you want to make sure that you're holding, holding, holding with a nice grip here and between your shoulder, okay, here with the shoulder rest. Once you feel that nice and secure, really do me a favor. Let go of your left hand, okay? So let's do it together. We're going to let go in three, in two, in one, let go. All right, now you should be able to hold this for a long time, you should be able to do jumping jacks. You should be able to make pancakes. You should be able to wash your hands, do whatever you need to do while you're holding the violin, okay? Because you don't hold the violin in your hands, believe it or not. You hold it from your chin and your shoulder, okay? Now that being said, we don't want to hold the violin in our left hand because that's where our fingers are going to go down, okay? So let's try that again. We're just working on holding the violin. Take the violin back in your left hand, okay? Take it off of your shoulder and away from you so that you're only looking at the back of the violin, okay? If you don't see the back, then you need to flip it around so that you see the back, okay? All right, now let's put our chin up again. Bring the violin all the way up to our shoulder. Bring our chin down onto the shoulder rest. Keep it there nice and secure. And in three, two, one, let go. All right. Now, boys and girls, you're going to want to practice this a lot because this is the most important aspect of holding the violin or, or getting started on the violin, making sure you can hold it securely from your chin and your shoulder. Okay? And, of course, making sure you're holding it in your left hand, not your right. All right? Okay, boys and girls, practice, practice, practice that because next we're going to learn how to pluck. All right? Good luck.